Ooh. Welcome, everybody, to the Board and Scale podcast. We have your superstar host, me, as always, the great uh, magical Seb, as well as... Me, Kenzie. And me, that nerd, Allison. And today, we, can, we come together to bring you a special episode, because we are going to be covering our recent adventure and trip and luxurious vacation to Philadelphia <laughs> for PAX Unplugged 2023. Um, as with all journeys, it started with traveling. So do we have any... Oh my goodness. That was a fun day. Yes. I cried, had a breakdown. It was fine. That was the, Oof. I think, first time in my life that I have ever missed a flight. Really? Yeah. I've missed so many. I think I've only, fl- I have not have, I've not flown much. So probably, is probably why. Um, and Spirit, uh, they, f- the, f- the plane flies no matter what. Safety issue? No, we're not going to stop the plane. <laughs> it needs to be on time. People yeah, paid $27 fair. for us to <laughs> fling them across the earth. We need to go. But no, so what, for our travels at least, we had a delay and ended up turning our 15-ish minute, 30 minute layover really into two and a half hours. Yeah. Yep. So we were supposed to get there at six and we didn't end up getting there until a little after eight. But that's fine. Everything worked out. It was good. We just missed our date night, which is okay. We made up for it later, which yeah. we will talk about in a minute. Um, but yeah, I will say though, we did have a replacement date night dinner at one of the bars in the airport. Oh, we um, did. And it was nice. Our waiter was a nice guy. I wish I'd gotten his name for no other reason cool. than to be like, thanks, name. But yeah. Thanks for making this layover much better than it could have been. Yeah. He was a cool dude. And uh, usually I feel like maybe it's just because you're paying crazy prices anyway, but he made he made pretty strong drinks. Yes. Yeah. So he did not uh, cheat us on those on the... And the adult stuff there. Um, but other than that, traveling for us, meh, fine. Could be better. We got there. <laughs> we got. Eventually. And that's what matters. Eventually, yeah. Um, what about your part, Allison? Um, my traveling was fine, actually. I made my flight. I read a whole bunch of my book. The only part was my Uber driver after the airport was Ooh. kind of an asshole. But other than that, it was good. Maybe he just moved over to Uber from Lyft and hasn't gotten the the culture adjustment yet. Maybe. You know? I don't know. I don't know if you guys have seen the memes of your Uber is here and your Lyft is here. And it's like a picture of a nice car with someone very professional. And then the Lyft is just like a dude with a blunt. Like, <laughs> oh my get God. in, dude. You know? Our Uber driver back home fits that description very well. This Uber driver also fits that description. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So she had an yeah. angry one. You know, Lyft driver. We ended up with a jolly Lyft driver. He was just blasting his music, dude. Which is, I don't care. It's his car. Yeah. It's whatever. Um, Although, he did almost run on us off the road a few times. Yeah. Uh, I was then, gripping the seat a little bit. And then there was a time when... It's fine. We made it. On the way back, the... um, Or not... A police. Police oh, car with the sirens yeah. drove by. And <laughs> you could tell how immediate he slowed down. And I was like... At least it's not us. I've been uh, pulled over in an Uber before. Oh my That's god! Like they got pulled over for. Uh, and then you get ticketed for no seatbelt. No, I was just chilling in the back. <laughs> <laughs> like sucks to suck. You're getting a ticket. Yeah. Uh, by the way, no tip since uh, I'm gonna be late now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. But aside from our bad travel, it wasn't even bad. It was just inconvenient, really. Um. I got to see some of my favorite people, and there were people that I was really excited to go and see at PAX. So I finally got to see my Scott and my Carly. I got to meet Natalie. I'm so sad because I did not get to see Carly. At oh, all. you didn't see Carly at all. Yeah, we were busy and we just missed each other. Sad. Oh. It's fine. We'll make her visit at some point. Well, we're going to go to or, the UK to visit her. I mean, or that. that too. I'll go to the UK. Or. Uh, you know, Africa or Asia or wherever she ends up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so that was really good. We played just some small games um, in a hotel room, but it definitely started the trip off right. I was very happy to see my people. Yeah. It was that, nice. And that was our travel day. Yeah. I think, uh, at least for me, my anxieties of like leaving our children. 
Oh, yeah. At that point, there's nothing I could do immediately. So I was able to relax and enjoy the rest of that night being there. We got into the car leaving the house and I was like, all right, well, this is happening. Yeah. I'm and not going to stress anymore. And just as an extra, Allison did leave after us. Yeah. Which is way why, later. Yeah. So she wasn't uh, able to participate in that yeah. first night. I didn't get in until like almost one o'clock and both of you guys were asleep. Sebastian wasn't. I wasn't. Uh, I was playing chess. He was on his phone. Uh, you called me and I was like, babe, go get her. <laughs> Burning <laughs> my brain. Um, but Allison arrived at, uh, at a good time. And safely. Yep, yep. safely. I we got like a few good hours of sleep. And day, day one. one. And usually, for, for I feel like the past three times we've gone, we have just, let's line up with everybody else mm-hmm. in the exhibit hall and get ready to go in. Which is actually a terrible idea. Horrible. I Apparently, love it how we a did terrible it this idea. Me too. So they ended up lining up um, about 30 minutes before showtime open yeah. in the merch line that's yeah. located right outside of the main hall. And because of that, we were able to grab all the merch that we wanted, um, which some of it is here or no? No, I don't think I think, think we've we got a set of, of pins. That's up here, and then. But other than that, we got the shirts that we wanted and the sizes we wanted. Sweatshirts and bags, and yes, we I love love the shirt this year. It's just mm-hmm. like a leafy green kind of color. GG, GG mm-hmm. on it. G freaking G. Is it the back that says "Good it Game"? Is, yeah. yeah, yeah. Great idea for a shirt. You know, I always think they're very like very nice, comfortable shirts. Last year's was kind of not like not a huge hit for me, so. This the jackets was, last year were better. The yeah. jackets were sick. Yeah. Which but, we ended up getting one of those last year too. But yeah. I upgraded my board games sweater. So there was the dark purple one a few years ago. I think that was like that was twenty twenty one. Yeah. The plain purple one. Um and then they upgraded it this year with a like a lavender ish marbled purple yeah. Perfect board way to game describe it. sweatshirt. Marbled? Yeah. Yeah. Tie dye ish. Mm-hmm. So I got to upgrade that, and that was a completely sold out by the second day. Spe- so, speaking of marbles, go Raspberry Racers. Whoop whoop! For those fans of Jill's marble runs, if not, go check it out. What a shameless plug. Um, but yeah, so that was completely sold out. So it was really cool that we were able to snag that so early. I'm glad that we that we did it like that because we also didn't have to wait in the huge line of people waiting to enter the hall. Yep. Granted, we did stand in the merch line for an hour, over an hour. An hour yeah. But but well worth. Where well you worth. were in the 30 minutes you were there, we before were there for an hour. I got there. I'm saying before we got there because mm. we waited, me and my other friend waited half the time. Um, but where you were in the line was like quintupled yeah. in the 30 minutes that I was waiting there. Yep. And it yes, was crazy it was. how it went from, oh, this is a really long line, you know, basically to the to like the first room of the hall. Mm-hmm. And then I went to the I turned around to go to the restroom to walk down the hall. People as far as the eye can see, you know, mm-hmm. split across the walls, waiting. And I don't know, we walked, so we went in, they opened the side hall doors. Yep. We went in through there, just showed the badge, cool, no one waiting in line, because um, all of the Lorcana rushers, <laughs> oh, gosh. you know, had probably, they had already. Oh, they were all standing in line again at the Lorcana booth. Yeah. yeah, it is pretty crazy. The line to the exhibit, like, to get in the hall, and then. The Lorcana line was its own insane maze. crazy line. And every day, I'll, I'll spoil that, every day that was full. Yep. For hours until, oh, we're out. We don't have any more. Which is really crazy. Insane. We should um we should buy one pack and just hope we get the uh I don't know if it's Mickey Mouse or I really like the Pooh Bear. The Pooh Bears, the I think Poo one is, of the rare yeah. ones. Oh, hey, hey. The chicken. Oh, yep, yep, He's yep, like yep. a dumb, expensive card, super rare or something like that. But that would be cool. That would be yeah. legit. Um, but yeah, so the day one merch grab went well. Yes. And then the rest of day one was slowly meandering. Mm-hmm. Very, so very slowly. Usually our Fridays, we spend most of the day walking through the actual con because Friday is the day that like... Everybody's going to go to what they want and buy it. So a lot of things will sell out quickly. Um, So we walked around and usually we don't, we try not to buy anything first round through. I mean, there are some things that you're like, oh my God, I know that I want this and I will get it right now. Um, And those things we bought. But this year we kind of went into packs not having anything specific that we wanted. 
there weren't any bigger games that we were like, I must have that. So there was nowhere where we were really like purposefully trying to go. Um, so we just walked around and we bought a lot of like stuff, as you can see in front of us. Um, we got a lot of like upgrade pieces and pins and um, expansions. So it wasn't anything crazy. And then second day we bought a few games. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just a little. Um, did you, or was there any games that you guys specifically noticed and were excited about? I can start with one. Mm -hmm. uh, Undergrove. Mostly, yeah. mostly because I had seen it before. It looks interesting. And um, Elizabeth Hargrave's on it. So immediately we were like, oh, let's look at that. Yeah. Well, the, that's why that's like, it, it, you know, it was on my maybe. Mm -hmm. Notice the game there. Oh, that's weird. Why they have a copy out there demoing. Wait. <gasps> that's her. She. That's her. No. What <laughs> happened was we were looking at the game and the, one of the girls that was standing behind it goes, oh, well, Elizabeth's straight over there. And Sebastian goes, what? He was fangirling so <laughs> hard. <laughs> it was actually It was adorable, funny, though. Yeah. It was so cute. And he was like, will she take a picture with me? I wonder if, I wonder if she'll take a picture. Can Should we, we take a picture? Let's take a picture. <laughs> and I was like, babe, just go. Just go. Just stand by her. And there were a bunch of people standing there talking to her. Yeah, I was and, not the only fanboy. And they took a picture. And then they continued to talk. And I was like, baby, just like. Just go. Just go stand next to her. You can make it a little bit awkward to know that you actually want to talk to her and we're not just standing by. Um, so we walked up <laughs> super <laughs> just, awkwardly. Just stood. And didn't say why. I'm word. nervous about disappointing people I look up to, okay? <laughs> and she is one of those people. But she was super, super nice. Super nice. Um, they took a picture and I was giggling at him behind the camera the whole time. Um, and then she goes, oh, have you guys seen Undergrove? And we were like, yeah, we've been looking at it. We, um, we'll probably back it. And then she goes, have you seen the tiles? And he was like, yeah, I saw a video of you guys messing with them. And like, you could throw them, do whatever you I'm needed. I'm going to interrupt you. Yeah. They were boiling them. They were like putting a match to them, do, like hitting it with a hammer, putting it in the freezer. I don't really know what that does. <laughs> oh, I think and then dropping it while it's like cold, right? Mm -hmm. Shatterproof, but. They were just beating them up, you know. I'm, no one's going to do that to their game, but it's just like, wow, they're durable. And then, what happened, baby? And then she said, well, and it was slow motion for me. <laughs> <laughs> she pulled a tile out of the little bag she was holding and said, I'm signing tiles today. Yeah, I've never seen this man get so excited before. And but we've been married for six years. Sebastian's life. My heart was lit up. <laughs> A glow. <laughs> so, he has a signed Undergrove tile from Elizabeth Hargrave. Do you have it up here? I think it is up here. The King Bolet. Thank you. Of course, it's all the way. There you go. Long arms, boy. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I actually don't know how it's pronounced, but looks like me oh maybe not bullet maybe bolit what do you guys think boliti boliday um king like bullet bullet okay i like bullet see if you can see it bullet it's like b-o-l-e-t-e we'll show some pictures yeah. up close um but check out our instagram if yeah. you want to see that but we walked away and he says well con made i'm good now yeah <laughs> we could go home and i would be happy so that was really awesome. Really She's cool. a great person. Um, but yeah, I think that was most of our first day. We went and got lunch at Reading Market. Um, mm -hmm. You know, our traditional corn dogs, mm -hmm. um, which were absolutely fantastic again this year. Yep, they were good. Um, and then we went back and what did we do? I think we looked around again. Yeah, we, Did we, we just did it, finish we did walking? Yes, loop. because I had seen the Stellaris. Yeah. Uh, or not the, just Stellaris uh, set up and being demoed and stuff like that. I was like, holy crap, there's a Stellaris game. I'm going to go buy it. Not ready yet. It's going to be Kickstarter. That was a lot of games that we saw this year. It was really weird. There was so many like. Oh, I want that. Oh, I want that. Coming to put Kickstarter your, 2024. Your two year long pre-order 
six months from now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Another game we saw like that, Galactic Cruise. Yeah. Which is so unfortunate. From the look of that game, I want it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks really pretty. It's like retro space. Carly played it and she really liked Rocket. it. Man. Literally said she had a game crush. I just know. I'm pretty sure they were doing like lottery system demos, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't I know how that was it. going. But apparently for Undergrowth, pictures. it was uh, a yeah. lottery system. That's what I'm saying. We didn't see, we it, didn't in see person, it in yeah. person. We saw pictures. I remember looking at it. The pieces just looked like the way that they worked on the boards just looked really nice. I don't even remember it. I just remember seeing the the cover and I was like, wow. And it's colorful. It's like pastel, mm-hmm. vintage. I don't know. I don't know. But it's cool. Another another game we noticed. That's unfortunately, coming to Kickstarter. Yeah. Months months from now to Kickstarter. So years from now to your door. <laughs> unfortunately. Well, I don't know. I feel like I have a lot more faith in the games that were there that were done. That it's not going to take two years. Hopefully. Like if you're demoing a game, that means that it's not a it's not a like a concept or just an idea that you're throwing on Kickstarter. It's something that's already been produced once. Oh, oh, that's what you mean. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, weren't they demoing? There was the like Fox Experiment last year, and I just got that one. F- yeah. No, no, no. We demoed yeah. the wolves. I'm pretty sure they had the box there, a Fox Experiment last year. I don't that think that they so. were demoing yet. It. Yeah, they did. They did, did have they a demo really? copy actually. Yeah. Well, that's really wow. Cool. I do remember that. Right I was here. like, because we were like, a year wait, is really are they? Not bad. Yeah. No, we were That's like, same. wait, are they selling it here? And then it, we found out yeah, it was just had, the I demo had just copy. Backed it. Yeah. And then I was like, if we can buy it here, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody's just getting them and they're selling the Fox Experiment and you just got it. Yeah. Oh, it actually got there when you were away from your house and mm-hmm. someone took it. Oh, what? 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 Huh? <laughs> no, I have it. <laughs> nope. It's on my table. No, she messaged me. She's like, guess what I got? And me, I'm thinking books. Yeah. Because that's all we buy every, Shout anymore. Shout out to our podcast. Um, and she's like, no, I finally got the Fox Experiment after we've been crapping on the fact that it's at retailers already. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited to see. You got to bring it over. I was going to bring Please it over it today, already. but uh, Jim happened. Yeah. So. Check out her Get Ready With Me's, maybe on the Spicy Book Nook. I don't know. Or if not. Sebastian really wants me to maybe on do, that get ready Thompson. with me. I'm going to the gym. She always or when whenever she goes to the gym, I'll just be your photographer. How about that's me going to the gym with you? Combos. Is you just are is I just like take a, pictures? Yeah, <laughs> I hate person taking. Pictures. I make reels of you at the gym. <laughs> oh, I could do it. I could do it. Just don't make me work out. <laughs> 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 are you giggling? <laughs> I was because I was gonna say me too. <laughs> You both just tag along, full camera, yeah. everything. We, you the podcast so setup, good. just hold the mic in front of you. It's just. <gasps> I'm like dying. Yeah. You guys are just like, you look great. <laughs> you got this. Yeah. Push through. Um, okay, well. So we went to dinner. Did you mention where we went? Oh, I didn't say no. it, no. Yeah, I can. So <laughs> last year. We, um, you know, PAX is a three-day thing. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And Friday night, we, last year, I'm talking about last year, um, we were like, I want ramen. And our friend Tom that we meet at PAX every single year Mm -hmm. um, was like, oh, there's a bunch of good ramen spots out here. Um, But they were all like a 10-minute walk, and we were just super lazy. So um, we Googled ramen places, and there was this one um, called Aki Nom Nom that was like a three minute walk from a hotel our hotel last year our old one yeah, yeah the other hotel. um so we were like you know what let's just go there and we'll call it a day so we went and it was probably the best ramen i've ever had yeah hands down like delicious ever it was so good um so good in fact that we went back the next day <laughs> and that Two was where we ate yeah. um and then of course this year we were like oh well gotta go back so and that's where we went for our first dinner together as a group at yeah. PAX. And we got Liddy Spaghetti. I will say yeah. we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> we did. Um, All the drinks we had. They but, were so strong. But I will say um, we had a little oopsie in the beginning of it. They were like, we called them. Let's make uh, a reservation. We didn't have an oopsie. They, they had, had an oopsie. oopsie. <laughs> we so called to make a reservation. <laughs> and they were like. We, we called got- it noon. Yeah, no. for a reservation at like seven. You yeah. know, I don't, we don't know how it works. We were just trying. There go, no, we don't take reservations. 
but you'll be oh. fine. But you'll be fine. It's it's seven on a Friday. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, just and then they were like, "We'll tell the waiters to like look out for you and your group, and you'll be fine. And you'll be seated." So yeah. we get there, and we're like, <laughs> we as soon as we walk in, <laughs> the person in front is like, "Do you have a reservation?" Didn't even like immediately. No. I was so upset. No, 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 no. I was like. You told me you don't do reservations. And she's, she goes, oh, no, we don't do reservations. But do you have a reservation? And I was like, what the? Yeah. Wait, are they, you messing with them, me? We're not going to dox this person. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Anyway. Who knows? Yeah. Anyway. It, was a, it was a misunderstanding, but we ended up sitting down. <laughs> eventually. We ended up sitting down eventually. And I asked for hot sake, and boy, did I get oh it. Oh, my gosh. They Burn, damn near gave yeah, me. Sake. They damn near gave me boiling sake. Yeah. You know? Um, I could not even, like. I was going to say swallow it, but... Okay. <laughs> Spicy book nook over there. It's bleeding in. Yeah. Don't... It's very hot. <laughs> um, but yeah, we split the sake around the table, had good, Can I delicious tell you, ramen. Yeah. The first drink that I got, we all were freaked out. All of us. Because it, it looked, looked like disgusting. there was like raw Shrimp. chicken... It, well, everybody thought it looked like shrimp. Yeah, shrimp. But it looked like raw chicken to me in the drink. And it was like, it was a lychee. It's apparently, yeah, a li- lychee. A lychee. Lychee? <laughs> if you don't know what that is, it is a fruit. Yeah, it is a fruit. And the inside of it is like that white color. Like I Googled it because I was like, no way did they just yeah, put shrimp but, in your fucking well, drink. <laughs> in the, with the color of the alcohol, it straight up looked like chicken juice, man. It looked like it hot did. dog water. It was, supposed it, was to like. have, it was supposed to have cranberry <laughs> juice in it. And they went like, bloop. That was it. Not, not even the enough, rest was liquor. Yeah. They just went bloop. Not even enough to make it like pink. No. So it had like it no was like skin color juice in it. Yeah. Yeah, with a like wrinkly white-ish fruit, and yeah. we were like, "Is that a freaking?" And I almost didn't drink dimp? it. I almost didn't drink it because I was like, mm, I don't, I, I don't think, think that the host 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 slash hostess El hosto liked, liked me, and I was like. Yeah, maybe yeah, she she has the waiter to give you a raw chicken juice. Yeah, mm. but yeah, raw chicken juice. And a That's piece not of chicken real. In it. It's a great restaurant. <laughs> yeah, um, the it food was actually delicious. It was. It was, was, it was so good. Um, well, they one of us ate those grapes. Herndor. Did you eat yeah. it first? Did you try it first? Yeah, I took a bite. I was like, I'm gonna try it. I tried it. Derek tried it. Nope. It was oh actually, I drank the grape. Allison like was like, I'm here to get salmonella and have fun. <laughs> it tasted like a grape. Yeah. Well, I think you you bit into it and you're like, ooh. Yeah. It's not garbage. Yeah, that's, that was my immediate reaction was, ooh. Yeah. But that I was finished awesome. the drink and then had what? another one. Two? Two more? Yeah. Because I think we both had three. And uh-huh. then I shared. And you had a lot. ton of sake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good night. Yeah, just you. Nobody it else. Was really yeah, good Sebastian night. was definitely not supplying me with <laughs> the sake. Um, okay, so you mentioned our graham grab. Our <laughs> game <laughs> grab. <laughs> what? Nahora spicy. Oh, I didn't message. <laughs> I didn't mention any of those. Okay, yet. so our game grabs. Second day. Yeah, we grabbed on second day. We didn't oh, grab any. It? No, we didn't grab anything for nothing. Day. First we day. did. Didn't we not? No. no. Yeah, because we. Okay, so we went to dinner. Me and Kenzie got little. Do you not remember going back like, to play that first night? Oh, was that we had, when we got oh, it? That was when we picked when up. You guys got. We had the we had the tattoo one. game, which I'm gonna explain in a minute. Yeah. And we got. The one where uh, you hit my hand. Right. Goat cheese. <laughs> Taco, Taco cat, cat goat, goat cheese, cheese, pizza. Yeah, Allison yeah. knows we're, it as the ouch game. The ouch game because Kenzie okay. sat across the table from me. We were drunk, okay? And uh. she <laughs> put her hand on the table like this. And I was like, oh, you want a high five? And I was in the Taco Cat Goat. Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza Land. <laughs> Taco Cat Goat. Is that, is that how that happens? That is 100% Dude. how that happened. And so, of course, yeah, me, I'm not. like, oh, she wants a high five. So I went wham in her knuckles. Oh, did, boy, did you wham. Yeah, yeah, I whammed pretty My hard. My whole hand was red, and it hurt so bad. I felt really bad. I just proceeded to kiss Kenzie her knuckles for the rest of the night. Kenzie was judge, jury, and executioner of that <laughs> yeah. freaking taco, taco cheese cat game. <laughs> yeah, my hand was just <laughs> annihilated. It was fun for me. So, after dinner, we kind of swapped their places. After dinner, we went back to the gaming hall because we were all vibing. We were just... I'm surprised. That we, we all made it. There. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I had to go to the restroom like as soon as we got there and I was like, why did you guys let me just walk <laughs> away in this huge convention hall by myself? I just dipped. 
I don't know. That's your wife's responsibility, not mine. She was also. I could I'm not single. have gotten up and walked all the way over there. Yeah. She would have fallen over. <laughs> wow. Um, but no. It was my wife's husband's responsibility <laughs> for supplying Whoa. the alcohol. <laughs> <clears throat> We're going to move on. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we uh, we get back to the gaming hall, sit down to like. Or no, I think we're walking to the tables actually, uh, and just see TJ there, you know, walking in as well with uh, some of his friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, some for some of you who don't know, I'm mentioning TJ from TJ Plays Board Games mm-hmm. on Instagram. Um, he's been he's been posting frequently. He has a podcast with his friend, so we just kind of got to, you know, talking online about meeting each other to play games and stuff, like us gamers do. So we just honestly kind of happened upon each other <laughs> from that late dinner night. Um, but they were free. They wanted to play. So we so sat Sebastian down to play some games. Introduced them to this wonderful game. The very first game, I regret it. Yeah. Honestly, um, to you other three people who I'm so sorry, I can't remember your names. That's not the kind of game I play. And dear viewer, you'll find out why. It was... Yeah. Um, a mental health awareness game. Yes, that's how it was marketed. Yep. Um, Definitely aware of all of them now. And essentially, you start with three different types of mental health disorders. This ranges from, I guess it's not just mental health disorders. It's also like other stuff. Yeah. It's called side effects. There you go. Um, and so like you could have some, I think there was what, six or seven of them? But like that. anorexia, um, suicidal thoughts, tremors, um, depression. Anyway, yeah. you start with three of them and you're essentially trying to cure them, whether that be with therapy or um, with a pill. And so while you're trying to cure yourself, others are also doing that. But you want to be the first one to cure yourself completely. So there's other cards in the game um, called having an episode. Um, And you can play them on other people to give them negative effects during the game. So the one that I had uh, was Tremors. And Sebastian made me have an episode of Tremors, which meant that I lost my entire hand. Every card I had in my hand had to get discarded. Um, And then... Once you are healing yourself with these pills, people can add other things on top of it because these pills that are healing you give you side effects. And those side effects can be a range of the other different disorders. 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 Disorder. One of TJ's friends that we were playing with, um, (laughs) I go, here, I'm giving you suicidal thoughts. And I was like, yeah. The effect of the card oh my God. is that you discard your entire hand of cards when you have an episode via that disorder. Um, anyways. It was interesting. Allison, how would you feel as a stranger being taught that game? Um, immediately been, being introduced to the group of friends yeah, playing that like, game? These guys I would have been like, up. yeah, I'm going to go play elsewhere. Mm-hmm, it's a very interesting game to the, bring out first. Immediately after they went to bed. so Yeah, they, they had to go. And I feel like it's... Coincidentally. I mean, it's maybe a little bit from the content that they thought we... Absorbed. Know, fully enjoyed. But <laughs> um, that's not to say that it is necessarily a bad game. I think that the flavor of it is just... Not for us. It's a darker not kind for of everyone. Yes, it's a darker version. You know, version of humor. It's a different version of creativity. You know. Um. So go ahead and check out their games if that's something that you are into. Mm-hmm. I think it's pillbox games. Yeah, and nothing bad on them. It just different kind of humor. was not our uh, cup of tea. Yeah. Um, I'm I bought the game because I got a one dollar discount. Via getting a temporary tattoo. <laughs> Didn't you yeah. like roll something or do something to get another dollar off? I did. Um, they had a, a bowl of pills in the front of their <laughs> checkout where we they have. said if you want to fuel yeah. your gambling addiction, grab a pill. Open that was it. another one. That's another disorder. You can take an extra dollar 
off the price. There are some in here that charge you an extra dollar. And there is one pill in there that was get a free game of your choice. I, of course, being a extreme gambling addict myself, <laughs> went ahead and took it. And actually, I did fine. I got the extra dollar off. You know, I got the second goodest thing. Second goodest. Yeah. <laughs> Not by vocabulary. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, you forgot to mention that you played kites. I did forget to mention... Um, I got to meet up with some friends during these we kitty cats were nap. napping. Yep, we took a and, great nap. Yep, and I was like, I don't want to sleep. So I'm going to go play game. Uh, no, you almost fell asleep. Get I did almost fall asleep. Get out of here. Yeah. Anyways. Um, this was before dinner. Yeah, so I went back to the hall to play for a little bit. I ended up just, I think, on a whim buying kites because we had like five players and it was six players. And I said, oh, I, I like the art on it anyway. I really love Beth Sobel's art. In general, if that's how you say her name. Um, but it's really awesome. And Kites, if you haven't played it, is a real-time um, card-shedding game, I guess. Uh, hand management game. Something. You'll, you can figure it out. But basically, you have a hand of cards that turn these different colored sand timers. And there's a certain sand timer that once you run out of cards in the deck... You cannot flip it anymore. That is the timer for the game. We were playing at five players. When the deck would run out, everyone had three cards in their hand. And these timers are flying. <laughs> so it felt like we had 20 seconds for five times three, 15 cards to be played to continue flipping the other colors, the other colors, keeping them alive before the white timer ran out. We had to get rid of all our cards. And it was so intense. And that I think sounds the, so hectic. The closest yeah, we got, me anxiety. The closest we that. got was like seven cards away. And I'm sure if you play it more and more, you get better. But like, you're gonna play ten times probably and lose, unless you're good at speed real time games. Maybe it changes, but I don't really play real time games. Did um, you enjoy it though? I did enjoy it, you know. And I think with, I think with a, for me and a certain group, it would work, you know, like. Our Sunday fun day group here, I think we could kill it. <laughs> Do I think we'd win all the time? No, but it'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that was a good one. Um, Did you play anything else when you were out? No, we played that, we played it twice. Ah, uh, okay. And then I had to run back for dinner. You got to, That's when you got to play with Natalie and Scott. Yes. That's when we were asleep. Yeah. Well, that's why you make time. You don't go to sleep. <laughs> I mean, they also played with us at night. Not that night. Not that night. Yeah, they did. It was the night after. No, they... Oh, we did see yeah. Scott and Natalie that night. Oh, we played because fake artists. They they yep. came into the group. We also played the other one right before that. So we played... I can't remember. No, no, no. It was when they... Oh, it was Love Letter. We played Love Letter, and then we played another one after that that's very similar to the fake DC artists. Hero the DC Hero something. One, yeah. Um, Love Letter, if you haven't played it. I don't, I don't even know. Not, it's not a deck builder. But... It's a deduction game. I was out the second hand, like the second time around. Yeah. Um, it was you, bad. You have a card. It does a thing. You basically want to be the last one left or the highest number strength of the last ones left. When the cards run out. When the game ends. Um, and then you win a heart. You win a round. You move on to you win like three. We played that. And this other DC hero game where one of you is the Joker trying to pretend like you know where everyone is from a okay. group of cards. Um, and the way it is is someone will ask a question um, and the other person will answer. And if they answer in a way that's like... Hmm, curious. Oh, you know the details suspicious. of the card. Don't, Maybe don't good. be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Or they said something completely random and you're like, that's weird. Didn't she, um, Natalie say like m orb? That circular orb or yeah, something spherical. like that. Yeah. Spherical. And, and it there was, was nothing circular. In it the was room. the mascara. And we're like, well. Yeah, if you have the game, pull out the mascara and <laughs> see if there's a spherical orb on there. Yeah. Also, with that game, it has to be unanimous. So every single person has to vote for who they think the Joker is. Yeah. Which is insane. Like. And then I think it's. Is it if you get it wrong, you're out 
or if you get it right, you immediately win as a team. Like if you get it wrong, the Joker has a chance to guess, to guess which guess location it was. Because yeah. you didn't, I don't know, beat him. That's fake artists. I don't know about the DC Heroes one. I don't. I don't. We never got to the end. No. No. We would just mm. decide because it was very it easy was. to tell who was not the Joker or who was 100%. the Joker. Um, Except for Scott, he got me. It was fun though. He said something about Alexander Hamilton, and it was Lex Corp. Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Well, Alex, that, that makes so much sense because Lex Luthor's name no, is Alexander." I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, same. I was not. I was like, I was like oh, that? I got you. I see where you're going there. And then he was the Joker and laughed at me after. And it's fine. It's fine. But I was wrong. Literally everyone else from like the, I think he was like the second person to answer. Yeah. And just Everybody. his Alexander, ha- Alexander Hamilton had everyone like, yeah, it's you. Except Kenzie was like, wow, curious <laughs> that you would say such a thing. Enlightened are you? Yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, man. But no, it was good. Do you have anything else to say from night one? No, I think that was... We hobbled back we to the hotel. We got kicked out, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was nice meeting TJ. He was fun. Oh, and Adam from Tabletop Vibes. Yeah. 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 He Full came bench. after the yeah. other two people. I think yeah, he, he showed joined up. like halfway through. Yes, when the other people left, mm-hmm. he came in. After straight from the airport away. with his bag. Yeah. yeah. Real gamer. Yep. He showed up when all the stores were closed, like the main exhibit halls, just the midnight stores games. were closed. He still brought his bag just in case <laughs> he wanted to buy some. Um, but no, that was cool. So great to meet both of them. Sad we didn't get a picture. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, next year. That's who we played Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza with. Oh, yes. Yeah. And we'll shove in Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza. We just went and bought it. We literally just walked to the store that is on the um, the tabletop playing side, and we we're like, hmm, "What can fit all of these people?" Yeah, what can fit? Was so it we eight of us. Yeah, because us there? four. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Scott, Natalie. There's a lot. Yeah. Tabletop vibes. Yeah. TJ. And isn't it crazy that out of the eight hands that were slapping the middle of the table, you could tell that it was Kenzie slapping everyone? Yeah, and my hand in particular. It's killing me because I love your hand. Okay. I don't know. That's kind of <laughs> red flag. Is that a red flag? No, that's a green flag all the way through. Not when it hurts. <laughs> we also picked up a long shot. We didn't end up getting a chance to play it, but it's, mm-hmm. um, we think it's similar to Ready, Ready Set, set Bet. Ready Set Bet. So that's why we picked it up, but we didn't end up getting a chance to play it. Fun fact I wanted that game, picked up Ready Set Bet <laughs> thinking it was that game. Turns out it was not, but I like Ready Set Bet. Later on, saw this game and was like, oh, okay. Well, that's gone. <laughs> well, I have one of them already, so. Yeah. Then we bought it to play. Yeah, it didn't happen. So, we'll see. And then, great night of sleep. No, it was not A few not hours. Good. Not a good night. Drunk. Yeah. <laughs> I woke, woke up, up with such a horrible headache. Yeah. Um, but day two, we got some breakfast in the hotel. Mm-hmm. Or did we? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I walked down. And we got did day one too. I walked down and got my wife breakfast. Mm-hmm. Yes, she's so sweet and kind <laughs> and thoughtful. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then what did we do? We had breakfast. Did we split up in the morning for something? Well, I think Derek no. stayed in the hotel. Yeah, and then we just walked around. Yeah. Another loopy, loopy loop. Um. Yeah. No, Derek stayed in the hotel the whole day. It wasn't just the morning. It was literally the entire day. Um, Computer science problems. But we made, Allison and I made reservations at this. It's the Capitol Grill. It's like a nicer upscale restaurant um, that I had seen last year. And I told her, I was like, I don't know the name of it, but I know it's on the corner from our old hotel. (laughs) Because we walked by it it. every time we walked to the convention center. Um, But... We had made reservations, but we also knew that our friend Tom, I forgot. Sebastian had told me, and I forgot. Before dinner. No, I'm just talking about reservations. Okay, 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 okay. Our friend Tom could play with us at 7, so we, you know, thought, oh, well, we'll make reservations for 6 then. It shouldn't take longer than an hour. Uh-huh. It took a lot longer than an hour. <sighs> we'll talk about dinner in a minute. Sorry. 
So day two <laughs> uh, begins with us mostly going, okay, we'll do a slow, long lap through all of the exhibits, through all of the booths, and make sure like we take a big look at things we're interested in to see if we wanted to really buy them. Um, or in my case, find out that both the games that I would have bought on the spot, Kickstarter <laughs> in months from now. Um, but yeah, so we walked around for two seconds and immediately got pulled into a booth and bought a just lot one game. Games. No, we got two games, didn't we? The first one we got was Dice Manor, right? Yeah, we got Dice Manor and then AG. No, 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 Arcane, oh, Wonders. Wonders. Arcane Wonders. Arcane Wonders. Oh, yeah. And then Good Critters. And Good Critters, yeah. Which um, reminds me very much so of, was it Bang? I remember playing a game with Carly where we're all trying to rob a place and we're like shooting at each other and that's what that reminds me of. Oh, but right. I don't remember the it's name very of it. Similar. It'd be funny if it is that. It's not that game. I don't think it is. Because um, we were like sheriffs and, and stuff like that gangsters and pretty sure it was bang wasn't it no bang is like the cowboy one where you're like rolling dice i can't remember I have that one so i think was that the first ones we bought was the eight was those was guys? dice manor yeah, yeah. because manor they were that. close to the edge because okay. we wanted to go the opposite direction because we didn't really spend a lot of time on the other side on the other side the first day yeah. so we said let's buy the things you know that really catch our eye that interest us and then go and play them that was kind of our Goal was just buy something that we wanted so that we can actually play some stuff. Um, we bought Dice Manor, bought Good Critters with that, then walked to the all play section and went absolutely bananas. Well, you get a free bag if you spend over 100 bucks. Yeah. That's how they get you. Yeah. And I don't know. There's just something about their games. They're well, just... they have like little upgrades that they come out with years later with. Uh -huh. Well, like... it's also just like. More simple games that are easy to play, but they're still really fun. And they're so, beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So last year, we got Habitats from them. And Habitats literally blew our mind because the it's meeples. a game that came out in 2016 that they just, they finally started doing upgrades for. And it is like, it's just such an easy and fun game to play. Yeah. And maybe I wouldn't care if it wasn't for the awesome meeples. Like maybe I wouldn't care as much about the game. Mm -hmm. But those meeples really make they me like it. the game. We pull the game out and it's like, yeah, I'm about to grab some animals. So we picked up, I think, five games from then. It was. Yeah. Um, and most of them came with extra pieces. It was Pollen, Mori. Well, Pollen came with like super nice like glass, resin like pieces, pieces um, that upgraded the tokens on the inside. And then we got Factory Funner, mm -hmm. which yep. actually also an older game. Still has their old logo on it, boardgametables.com. Does it really? Yeah, oh, that. it does. Because they've now rebranded to this all play thing. Yeah. All play, which that's Board fine. Board game tables. Board game tables yeah. is kind of a mouthful, and I get that it's kind of a marketing thing for that to also be a brand, but um, everyone knows who they are now. So. And when I picked up Factory Funner, Sebastian was like, are you really? Sure? Is this really what you yeah, want? Yeah, because she's not a person that picks up something with an industrial theme. I pick up just about anything that sounds interesting to me. I've now just started looking for my tropes within board games. Wow. And <laughs> board game tropes? Yeah. Can and I'm just game? like, oh, okay. If it looks interesting and it sounds fun to play, then I'm like, yeah, let's get it. It doesn't have to be a specific theme. But he was like, are you sure? Like, is it really what you want? And it ended up being one of the better games that we played. I really liked it. it I would rank I it. Good. From the games that we did play, probably two. You think two? Mm -hmm. What's your first? Dice Manor. Dice Manor. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and then we got, so with this one, $4 for um, an organizer. A wooden, nice organizer. Yeah. Um, well worth. It was absolutely amazing, and it makes everything fit so much better. Um, but yeah, so that was the second one. And then we got pies, which... I only got the upgrade pieces for that. I wasn't going to you until got the she was game like, because of the wooden meeples. No, no, no. I picked up the game beforehand. I did. Um, I wasn't gonna get the upgrade for this one because it was just pies. Um, because someone stole the dog out of it. Um, but she told me she was like, "Where's my dog?" And I was like, "Wait, what? There's a dog that comes with it." So literally, the first player marker for this game is just a large wooden dog. Wooden dog. dog. And he's the goodest boy ever. 
long, long arms. arms to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> but he's just such a cute. Oh, no pup too short. Big dog. It's just a huge. Look at people. him. You can't really see him, but it's okay. We'll put a picture in the video. Um, but yeah, so we got those like seven bucks yeah. for all these upgrades. And then we also got Mori, which is the only, oh no, we didn't play pies either. Yeah. Um, we got Mori, right? It's, is it Mori? Or? Mori. Oh, yeah. Mori. Yeah. yeah. Um, which That's is actually, a it's a trick taking game, which we talked about those not too long ago. Um, so is pies. There are different kinds of trick taking games in their trick taking line. Look at the look <laughs> in Kenzie's face of what I just did to her. Anyway, Maury um, <laughs> has specific rules that you have to meet for tricks. But the action with this one is they also have die um, that you can use to ignore rules for those tricks. Um, which I enjoy most trick taking games that I've played. Yeah, they're fun. And it's nice yeah. to have a lot of variety. Um, and we were really looking for games that had a little bit of a higher player count. This one is specifically only three to five players. So it's pies. No, pies is two to five. It's three to five. But I was wrong. Anyway. Um, okay. okay. Late reaction to that one. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, a while back, Sebastian and I had actually played Roll to the Top on BGA. So it was a game that we'd already played. We knew we, well, I know I liked it because it's just, it's a roll and write that is easy to play. Easy to play. Um, and you're just writing numbers. So we ended up picking that one up too. Actually, I think you bought Pollen, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Because we're in the middle guys? of checking out and Sebastian's like, runs over. And Wait, like, have you seen the upgraded pieces? Do those pieces come with pollen? <laughs> and, and so after I had already checked out, um, Allison ended up buying pollen yeah, with the, the pieces. The guy behind us actually was hated so us. so mad. But, uh, we he was were, so mad. We even asked him if we could stay in line and he was fine. Oh, look at Echo. Studio bud. <laughs> She's always close. Yeah. Always close. Just hanging out. Um, And I think that was all of our all play games. Um, so. yeah. Oh, we also, um, well, let's talk about the place and then we'll finish off what we bought. Okay. So we bought Dice Manor, Good Critters, all of the all play games and then decided it's time to go play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to sit down to play Dice Manor. TJ tried to steal my hat. <laughs> Didn't work. I'm too fast. Um, but we ended up playing Dice Manor and... Dice Manor is a dice as workers game. Favorite type of game? Yes. Which is why we bought it. Absolute favorite. He said that and I said sold. You, you can stop yeah. talking. But then he pitched me another game and I wanted that one. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, But Dice Manor, dice support placement on your turn. You roll all the dice you have in place and then pick a number within the groups of die and use all of that number to do certain things around the board. And all it's doing is you are um, bidding for blueprints of rooms to add to your manor. You are bidding for advertising to gain points through the advertising track. And then you are doing early tours of your manor by using the dice to connect rooms that have mandatory number requirements. Only three actions, so simple, and it is so, it's a good game. It's it really is a good. good game. I really yeah. liked it. I also just want to say I got absolutely shit on. For all of packs, I think I got last in everything. <laughs> I think I got maybe second to last in one game. I have no idea. But I got absolute shit on the entire time. And I got shit on in this one. Allison, I think, you won this. I think I won I twice. Won, I won Dice Manor. Allison won Dice Manor by a heck of a whole lot. And Pollen. And you know when I start talking like I'm from the 1960s? By a heck of a whole lot. By a heck of a whole dang on. <laughs> Um, you won Factory Funner for the first time. I did yeah. win Factory With your Funner. very uh, mid-game, oh, hey, guys, the dot. Yeah. Three yes. point. And I always feel bad when I'm the person that teaches, and then I realize I missed telling something, which is honestly it pretty big in this game. Yeah. And then it was still a very fun game. Came back and won by, like, two points. I came back yeah. and won by a very few points because I had a massive endgame score Yeah. Um, that ended up pushing me over. And I think I skipped around building, too, which is not... 
you don't really want to do it in this game unless you have to. Um, but it worked out for me. Yeah. Um, so we played Dice Manor, then jumped into Factory Funner. And I've never seen anything like Factory Funner. And just from looking at the pieces, which is kind of why I thought Kenzie would be ick to it, I was like, this is this is too hectic. This is going to be crazy. <laughs> it's chaos. Yeah. And then I read on the back, it's like real time, whatever, whatever. I was like, are you sure you want this? Because we're, again, not real time gamers. Um, but no, it ended up being really fun. You know, do you want to explain it? Um, I can. So you're, everybody at the same time is going to flip over. Um, I forgot what they're called. Machines. The machine tiles. Oh, yeah, tiles. there you go. Yeah. Um, the machine tiles. And on these machine tiles is going to be a variety of colors um, with two things. You have inputs and you have outputs. Um, so you start the game with the four with all different colors. Um, you only have one of each. And you need to supply your machines with that specific color while also accounting for the output from these machines. Um, and outputs can feed inputs as you go on. Um but you have to supply everything to every machine for the entire game. And every single time you place a piece, it costs you money. Um, and every time um, you supply a machine for the first time, you gain that machine's money. So you're kind of just going throughout the game trying to make sure you're gaining the most money from your machines and well, not spending the most. Also, you can't move machines. Machines are the only thing that you cannot move. They are permanent, permanently placed as soon as you place them. Mm -hmm. So as you're going throughout the game, you're like, oh, no, my yellow is all the way over here. And I have no place to put yeah. this other one. So I have to put it all the way over here. So you have to make sure that you're placing your yellow reservoir strategically so that you can reach both of them while using the least amount of pipes. So you're spending the least amount of money. Um so yeah, it it's a little bit hectic, and you're, at the end of it, you're like, well, f, f it all. Yeah, um, can't put this anywhere. Find a big number and see if you can get it. So, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, you can overlap your roads so that you can go different places and do different things, and it actually looks really really cool at the end. It's like a whole factory um, of supplying say, machines. I will say these two factories, or Kenzie and Allison's two factories, looked really like <laughs> efficient and clean and there was like there was not a lot of crisscross in their factories and then i look at my board and, and i have like three crosses everywhere. yeah just all of my supplies chaos. are bunched up and blocking each other on three ends yeah. um but somehow probably because i cheated i put I, you know i got that first win by forgetting to tell them the rules correctly i mean i still lost regardless so it's okay i still like playing the game <laughs> <laughs> Which is always a good sign. I don't know if we've talked. We've, I think we've talked about it before. Playing a game, losing, and being like, wow, I can't wait to play it again. I enjoyed most Great games sign. that we played the whole time. I even got last in side effects, guys. Side effects. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I got, like I said, I did not do great, but I liked the majority of the games that we played. Yeah. Um, so after Factory Funner, we jumped into Pollen, mm -hmm. which is actually a really, really cute game. Super simple. You just start with um, like your color cards and you're trying to have the most of an objective for a scoring tile that is in the middle of four different um, player cards. Um, Our flowers. Yeah. Um, so you're trying to meet the bees and the butterflies and the beetles objectives. And I got absolutely shit on. Um, but it was really pretty and it was fun to play. And it was easy. It was simple. Um, Allison demolished. We didn't even have to go to secondary scoring. She just beat us out immediately. Yeah. So. Yeah. So pollens. I don't remember the win conditions or the end game triggers. If you're oh, oh, one of the three trigger? piles is gone. That's the trigger. Um, a player cannot place any more of their cards. Like if they I think there's card. one more. If you run oh, out the of bag. the yeah the thingy yeah yeah. Um, or if all of the, what? Me? Not talking about <laughs> the mic. <laughs> um, or if all of the, like the birds and the, the birds and the bees. The birds and the bees and the butterflies. There's no birds. 
Oh, there's no birds. No. Nope. I'm a dingus. The birds and the beetles. <laughs> and the, the beetles, the bees, and the butterflies. Yeah. All of those um, like conditioned tiles, I guess you could call them, um, are gone out of the bag. So if you have a majority in a group, um, either the butterflies, bees, or beetles, then scoring, you score for each other of the other two different types that you have. And which um, way did Allison win? Allison won because she had majority in... Oh, did you have... I no, I think I beat you out with bees. But she had yeah, majority, majority for butterflies and, and beetles. beetles. Oh, the majority. The majority. I heard you. I had the majority. Um, <laughs> um, so she, we didn't have to score anything else. She just immediately won and we put the game away very quickly after that and then we left. And that's the end. No, Was I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But... We played one more game that night. Yeah, we played. Well, after that, we went to dinner. We went to dinner. Yeah. Um, and we came back. Because we decided not to go out for lunch. We were going to go back out to the um, Reading Market for lunch again, but we didn't because we just wanted to finally play games because it felt like, you know. Yeah. So we just ate some good old. Or a day and a half and we hadn't played we like good very old many games real yet. cheese. Yeah. So we <laughs> mac and cheese. We got mac and cheese and grilled cheese and dirt. Yeah, put in. If you've never had dirt before. And you guys had spicy pickles. And nice. we had spice. And we had spicy pickles. <laughs> I'm a pickle person. Um, but yeah, no, after we played pollen, it was time to pack it up because our reservations to were coming. To pack it up? Yeah. Our reservations were coming for our nice restaurant because... Our like reservations said, were coming? Yes. Or <laughs> coming up. Um, because Sebastian and I were going to go on like a super nice date night thursday but because of our the travels our travels yeah um it was just too late when we got there so i told allison i was like i want to get dressed up and i want to go to dinner yeah and so we did we got all dressed up when well, i got all dressed up everybody else just i mean kind of went as we were yeah, kind of dressed up you kind of dressed yeah. up I put a nice sweater um, on. we looked really cute and we went to the Capitol grill and boy they want so some many drinks so many drinks and yes. the food was absolutely phenomenal so first of all um to me growing up a, re- a nice restaurant was like chilies you know <laughs> that was like once i can eat at chilies i'll be made mine was olive garden so i'm not that far from you're you. a small step ahead anyways this place we walked in and they have lockers with people's names on them who i assume they call them and say hey Give my usual, and then they send someone to come pick it up. They're like regulars. Yeah, um, but regardless, the vibe of this place was it should it uh, felt like it didn't belong. <laughs> <laughs> we um, didn't belong. We should not have been there. And that too, yeah, it kind of felt like we were like teenagers walking into a bar or something. But it was really cool. The vibe they put was us in the back next to the kitchen because really they nice thought we were going to be annoying. <laughs> so to be fair. We were definitely annoying. <laughs> um, so Allison has a drinking problem. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I do not. Don't tell all of the internet that I yeah. have a drinking she has a, problem. She, uh, the comments on this video are yeah. going to be the alcohol abuse hotline. Oh, you know what's... Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. It is, kind of, it is kind of hilarious that you have a wine bottle with you. <laughs> yeah, as we're talking about this, like, I don't just have a drinking it's problem. It's olive oil. Just kidding. What? what? And there's water in that. Yeah. You know, um, the old hiding water in a, in a well, wine bottle. It was great. I ordered something off the special menu, and maybe it's a scam. Maybe it's just as good as the other food there, but my was that mm-hmm. delicious. Melted in delicious your mouth. Delicious steak. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I went, uh, you know, medium rare, as it is supposed to be. As you should. And it, um, <laughs> man, what a great cut of meat that was. Great restaurant to be at. The drinks... Holy. They were amazing. Mm-hmm. Really strong. So good. Uh, flavored wise. The bartender. But delicious. Sebastian kept talking about how he had to be. A chemist. Some a kind chemist. of scientist. Yeah. He had everything balanced. <laughs> everything so was perfect. Yeah. Um, I ate yeah. so many raspberries. But yeah. It was really great. And we. Uh, so because me and Kenzie. Someone must have noticed us having a really good time. And actually went ahead and covered our bill. So I just want to say mm. thank you to they that. They must love you like a whole <laughs> I just want to say that, uh, you know, big appreciations to that person, whoever it may be. Whoever it may be. <coughs> um, and then also Derek was there too. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, they took care of him too. Took the brunt of every joke, <laughs> as he um, should. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> he's just that friend. Yeah. yeah. He's just that friend. He likes being the butt. Well, he is a butt, yeah. so. Um, Valid. But yeah, dinner was great. Yeah, I had a great time. And then we had a nice walk back again. Very yeah. confident. for. A <laughs> <laughs> oh, on the way there, though, every single year. Well, I guess not every single year, technically, because we didn't go by them. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Philly has a Christmas parade. Um, last year, it got rained out bad. Like, I mean, torrential downpour. These guys trying to put their things in the air and play instruments, instruments. and drums and all that. And it was literally a torrential downpour. And we felt so bad for them. Like, we were trying to hide under jackets and under anywhere we could go. Um, this year, it did not rain. They got to actually do their parade, and we got to see it a little bit because we were trying to cross the road in front of them. Yep. Um, but yeah, so we got to see a little bit of that too, and it was pretty cool. Um, it's always a pretty parade. We didn't get to go by the um the Christmas market though, which makes me sad. Sad. Yeah. It makes me sad. But I wanted to go. It was on our way to dinner, and on our way back, it was all cleaned up. Yep. I couldn't imagine the traffic that that made in downtown Philly. So, <laughs> last game of the night. Oh. We go back. Um, no, it wasn't last game. We played, we played two. two. Oh, okay. Okay. But one we already played. We already played. <laughs> Anyways, we make our way back finally to the gaming hall to meet our wonderful friends, Tom and Tom Sasha, and Sasha. who uh, we had made wait extra long for us. Oh, my gosh. And so, so, sorry. so they said that they could play at seven. We rolled up at like <laughs> 930. Dinner took a hot yeah, minute. and just with dinner, our and our waitress said, "Eh, they sh- they don't need me." Yeah, they're having and a great like, time. Just yeah. disappeared, and we were honestly, I mean, time flew by. Yeah, it did. Kept us Probably drinks, because we were leave. drunk, but it did. It definitely did, and I felt so bad. He it got so bad to the point where he was he only talked to Sebastian, and then he started messaging me. <laughs> Like Sebastian didn't respond. Are you guys gonna show up? Yeah, I was in the midst of a so bad. I was in the midst of a drinking war with my compatriot with my compatriot across the table. Um, there's no evidence. Yep. So (laughs) I was too drunk to notice. So I was stealing sips of their last drink. Oh, you definitely won. Yeah, no, I was being sarcastic. (laughs) I wanted him to admit it. Allison won for the camera. Just say it. An extra thing. Allison, if you say guys, no, 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 no. huh? Who won? Huh? Who won? Just say it. She paid for your dinner. I'm sorry, I'm hard of hearing. She paid for your dinner. <laughs> Just say she won. Allison, you won. You were the victor. But next year, next year, <laughs> next year, we're gonna come for you, okay. and the cream is gonna be on top again. <laughs> what did you say? It's um, Macho Man. Yeah. I thought you said cream. Yeah, the cream's gonna rise to the top again. <laughs> Okay. You crush up a little. Can thing my husband cream. not say these things to my wife? I'd okay. appreciate it. Book nook. <laughs> Spicy book nook. Um. So yeah, we rolled back to meet them finally, uh, and I taught Factory Funner, which mm-hmm. that second teach was something. I don't know how I made it through. Um, yeah. But I'm surprised they understood. Yeah. The but I mean, it's not a it's not a difficult game. It just I do, dude. If you have we not, were, yeah. that is so unique. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Breaking the table. Yeah, that is so unique to me. At this point now, I can learn most games just by similarities to other games. Symbols, round phases, turn structure, stuff like that. That does not feel like anything else. So it took my brain a little bit to process it. So I was very intimidated to try and teach it to someone in my state. Well, you did, kind of. I was helping them throughout the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but it all worked out, and I got last, as I should. Um, I don't remember who won that one. Was it Sasha? I think Allison. No way. I think I won that one. Oh, my gosh. The dots for the win. Mm-hmm. The dots for the win. Mm-hmm. Oh, Pipes R Us. Pipes R Us Pipes was are my us. company. Yep. One of the company yeah. names. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh Go ahead. But that was after <laughs> we played Tom and Sasha's game. Oh, it was after? Yeah, yeah it was after we played we Factory played. Funner after. Oh. Because yeah. they had it all set up and were waiting for us. Okay. Yeah. Well, so the last new game of the night 
was a pretty popular one. Was Zubatis. They had the deluxe edition. I do not remember the players. I was Ibises. It doesn't really matter. I was. I was the hyena. The monkeys. Oh yeah, the hyenas. Because <laughs> yeah, that was me. We were singing the song <laughs> "Quick Before the Hyenas Come," yeah. and I switched it to "Quick Before also, Allison Comes." comes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This is a certain type of show. This is a family show? There we go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I lost my train of thought. Oh, the mo- if you own the game, if you own the deluxe version of the game, go look at your copy, bring out those monkeys, and tell me it doesn't look like a fancy cat. Yeah. They're monkeys, though. It's a fancy cat. Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Which I was very confused by because there's also a, like a tiger. So I was like, why is there just like some fancy old cat here? But yeah, it's a <laughs> monkey. Yeah. I was the fancy old cat. Anyways, I had and I had the most rewarding, excellent alliance with my friend Tom <laughs> throughout the game. And our, then he broke it. Our political yeah. gainings from each other were like, you know. And Allison the cheated. The sand, we're like I sand and water. <laughs> you know, Tai Chi, the tide's flowing in and out. And so all of a sudden, my, he, he abandoned our efforts. No, you broke the alliance yeah, it was all you how dare you tom <laughs> <laughs> no it was it's him yeah it's him and then i was like hey tom you want to win it mostly got to and then point. he lost by one point to allison when she cheated to take two extra coins i did not it mostly got to a point <laughs> where Even Sasha said she did i not could give no me longer those coins <laughs> it got to a point where i could no longer just give him the benefits because he was getting more than me like on my turns um, so I had to break it. I had no, to break the alliance. he also was not working with anyone else. And then after that, well, I think I, I, I honestly helped him so much. He didn't need anyone else by that time. And then I broke the alliance with him. And so nobody would trust me, but also there's not really much you could do about the way that game ends. I didn't even get to score yeah, and I actually no. had the most coins. You did. You had, had 19. 19. But I did not even get to score because... We no one you. voted me <laughs> into the Showtime exhibit or whatever it's called. Because we moved the peacock in. Yeah. And then we let Derek join the party. And he still beat me. Oh, yeah, for the scoring. He had 14. You had like six? I had 12. Hey! Six. <laughs> okay. Um. Now, just really quickly, you know, you can decide not to, but I figure we do like rankings. You can maybe, if you don't want to like... <laughs> rate all of them just pick like your top one Wait, and the games maybe your least one yeah just mm. in day one day two i'll go first and uh, i probably will name dice manor my top game i think just the dice worker placement that's kind of like one of my favorite mechanics anyway that's why we picked the game up yeah castle with. burgundy encyclopedia if you like mm-hmm. if you have something newer and this game was I just it's i wouldn't say castles is a worker placement yeah, it is. Yeah, you, have to play you roll dice. your dice, and that's how you do your actions. Yeah. Like your but dice are your workers. Yeah. They're not putting your workers in a place. Sure. To do an action. Sure, but you're spending them. You're using the numbers that you rolled. Yeah, I but think it counts. Yeah, you're still putting I them on the map. That's two v one, so I think it counts. Yeah. Well, it counts. I disagree. Anyways, <laughs> um, not as complex as those games, but still hits the right spot for that mechanic for me. Um, and out of the games that we did get to play, that is definitely my number one. Factory Funner, not going to lie, was mad about it when uh, Kenzie first suggested it. Do you really want that? Absolute yes. sleeper. It I is do. unique. It is fun and strategic and thinky. Um, but all of our games were close, even though it felt like there was a lot of back and forth in the mm-hmm. middle of the game. Except for that second one we played, it was very much the last. Yeah, but the other two of us... We're like neck and neck. There's eight rounds, and I think I only played five machines. Yeah, and you really want to play some machine yeah. every round. It was bad. It was bad. Um, then probably taco cat cheese coat. Taco cat goat cheese pizza. Taco. Taco. Taco chat. Taco. <laughs> cat goat. <laughs> that game, pizza. I did really like it a lot. Um, I definitely think, you know, it's more party game, but fun. It was fun fun party game you know and i would say like maybe playing with strangers might be awkward because you get you know sometimes you get excited and you slap a little bit 
Um, but if you're playing with people you know and you can just joke about it days later, then it's fine. <laughs> and, you know, and I think it's fun. Uh, after that, we didn't get to play spicy like we wanted to. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, I would probably put Paul in at four. Really? Out of the ones we played, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I liked it. I liked the pieces. Maybe it was just our first game, but it took a lot longer than I was yeah. hoping for these for this type of game. Play really? A, yeah, play a card. I didn't think it took that draw long. Draw a card. Huh. Um, I did like that the turns were quick. I guess my only gripe with it is that it suppo- it like it looks like an area kind of majority area control ish game. You kind of end up just doing your own thing. We had kind of spread kind of just, out three ways. Well, yeah. we just didn't bug each other. Bug? Which, is that a pun? Uh, <laughs> um, which really played out into Allison's favor. Because we did not mess with her flowers. Yeah. Like at all. And she was just collecting and collecting and collecting and collecting. Yeah. I was going to try. And then I was like, dude, it's just. It's I better, sh- it's better for you to get your own stuff. Than to like fight her for maybes. Mm-hmm. And just let you. You know, because I would have had to choose. Um, but yeah, that'll be my four. And then I think Zubat is five. Okay, what about Kite? Because I'm just, I'm just not a huge negotiation person. But the game I'm itself, not a fan. I like the deluxe and I like the people that we were playing with. So it made the game fun. Yeah. Um, Kite six. What about the artist that went to New York? The fake artist? Yeah. Seven. What about monikers? We didn't play monikers. Monikers. We did. Monikers is more. You guys played when I wasn't there. (laughs) That was the first night. Yeah. (laughs) We played on Thursday. Monikers to me is a performance, (laughs) not really a game. That's where the real, you know, that's where the real me comes alive. We also got to meet (laughs) Ross. Um, mm, I think. He's a fella from the UK that we met (laughs) met recently. Met recently. What? I do want to point out. Ross, if you ever see this, uh, I think my British accent is better than yours. Oh, my God. <laughs> but he said cabinet once for uh, a closet. Cupboard. Or cupboard. And then yeah, Kenzie cupboard. started saying cupboard. <laughs> and so I just talked the about cupboard the, the whole weekend. <laughs> yeah, someone asked, like, oh, where do we put the Tylenol? And he's like, it's <laughs> in, in the, the cupboard. cupboard. <laughs> it's in the cupboard next to the tea. Oh, uh, it was funny. It was funny. But... He got to meet my, uh, I guess Natalie too, because she's. That was the first time she had met me. They got to meet my competitive side in monikers. Yeah, yeah. I did what an we- all girls team, which is expected of me. Yeah, um, of course. And there was a time where Carly, I love you, but she kept going. Oh, I know what that is. Every time that they would give a clue, which isn't like a crazy, like it isn't a big crazy. hint. What? It isn't a crazy. Like if you just stop there. It isn't like a crazy. <laughs> it isn't like a crazy big hint, but when they're when they're giving things for someone to understand and you're like, Oh, I understand now, it just makes it a little bit easier to be like, Oh, that's what it is. It's giving hint. <laughs> giving hint. And I was like <laughs> I was like, Girls, no <laughs> And Natalie looked at me, she goes, Okay, mom or Carly, one of them. Lisa goes, okay, mom. And I was like. Come to find out, yeah. the girls are not very good at monikers. Okay. Uh, we so, almost beat you just based on our acting skills. So the. Uh, was it three? Yeah, the three of them that had knew each other at some point lost to all three new people meeting each other <laughs> for the first time. Yeah. We only lost by. The game Scott Ross. I think three we points. <laughs> but we were. Terribly behind the first two rounds. And then on acting, we kicked it up. We almost beat you. I thought that would, I I did say, I did think we would do better in the acting. Mostly because of me, but I feel like I didn't touch the cards. No, we can act. Um, It was really funny watching Carly do burpees. A single burpee? Good try, Carly. In a dress. I don't know what (laughs) those other things were. Fantastic. Fantastic. Those are some um, quickly get ups, not burpees. I don't know, <laughs> but that's my game ranking. I think mine is pretty, pretty on point with that. Mm-hmm. To be honest, um, 
Would you so you'd say dice manager top? Mm, I just did so bad in all of them. I don't really know how to rank. Um I really did enjoy Factory Funner. I like Dice Manor. I think I just did not have the correct strategy for it and I wasn't like I fought too much to win things instead of going for something else. Um and, you know, the whole point is to build a manor. And if you're not winning things to build your manor, you kind of get crapped on in the end. I, yeah, and I that will is say exactly what happened to me. Pretty, pretty big downfall there when you don't win um, blueprints or you get behind in the winning blueprints thing. It can really affect you. I do think maybe like going deeper into the bidding would be a good strategy, but we didn't really know. There's a certain rule we might have overlooked. I might have overlooked in the bidding action. Also giving tours. I feel like we, you also waited until the second to last round. To do tours? To tell us that we could do multiple tours in the That's same us. round. No, no, no. Not, not, not the tours. The tours in your house. The advertising. The, yeah, oh, advertising. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah that's what I was saying. That's we're overlooked. That's what I'm not talking about. I just don't know, and I still don't know, if you can go there if you already have dice there, like in the area. I'm pretty sure you can. So we ended up switching it for the last round. All right. So, yeah, that's Dice Manor. Um, but I don't know. Those two are definitely my one and two. And then I think I liked Pollen more than Taco Cat Goji's Pizza. Okay. That's, I think, as I was just beating up my best friend, and that was not, <laughs> not a good thing for me. <laughs> um, so I just felt horribly terrible after. Um, but, yeah. I think, for the most part, I'm, and they're pretty similar to yours. Yeah. Allison, do you have a... Well, I mean, your three is different from mine. But, Allison, do you have um, a top anything three? Anything that's absolutely crazily I mean, different? No. It's very much the exact same. Dice Manor, Factory, Pollen. My top three. Oh, she chose Pollen over Taco. Yeah. Uh, kind of I destroyed I wonder her why. hand. I guess it My makes sense that, like yeah. Red and swollen <laughs> from getting hit. Whoopsie. Um, but no, that was the games that we got to play... And then also on day two, Sebastian, as we were trying to, you know, do our last little walkthrough through all the place, just so kept we could stopping. Stay. Yeah. And we kept losing him. And I was like, what in the world? So I checked our story on Instagram <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh, so that's what he's doing. Because he was just tagging a bunch of people, a bunch of cosplayers and taking just a bunch of pictures, which they were super cool. Um, Everybody was cosplaying D&D people. And I found out. Apparently, Matthew Mercer or somebody mm -hmm. from Critical Role was there. And I was so upset. Yeah. I freaking missed them. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? I yeah. would have died. I'm sure that was in a separate room, like a panel room. Yeah. Know? Yeah. 100%. Upset. <laughs> but yeah, so the, the cosplayers there, um, amazingly talented. Mm -hmm. The stuff that they make and like will suffer through, like one of them had full size contacts. Yeah. All through her eyeball. Crazy. And in that group, all three of them, faces, bodies completely painted. Yep. Um, not to mention the added on like horns and yep. other details of whatever they were that looked real. They looked absolutely gorgeous though. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. cool. And um, it's good to see people out there like just having fun, not even just to play board games, but just at a show in general. But yeah. So that was day two? Yeah. Okay. So day three, um, obviously last day of the con. So everybody packing up and leaving and, you know, just trying to do their last minute buys. Everything is on sale. I saw games that I was like, dang, that's $10 cheaper than it was yesterday. Um, but I got to say goodbye to my Scott and Natalie. Um, they didn't get to see Allison one last time. No, all really I had sad. to leave early. Um, I got to see, I got to see Carly and her mama and we actually, that was the time that we went around and played a few, like we play tested a few games that were on the first look area. Um, we played one that it was called ART, the art rescue the art team. Society. It was like art rescue team. Um, it was co-op game. Yeah, I think it was our project. It was a co-op game. Um, it was okay. Uh, we're not really big co-op people. Um, and then we played one called Footprints, which, you know, reminded me a lot of El Dorado in the yeah, beginning. It felt like the a way racing looks, game, but... But it was not a racing game. Yeah. It was definitely a points game, which 
it was it was kind of weird. Um, I don't think it was bad though. It was a cute small. Yeah, I'm doing glad actions that I on a card both games game. to know that uh, they're not for me. <laughs> um, but most importantly, I got to spend time with one of my really really good friends, and she is you know going to the UK soon, so it was nice to be able to spend a little bit of time with her um, before she heads out. Yeah, and that was that was pretty much our day three. Um, we got food at the Reading Market one last time. Um, and then uh, we flew We home. also, that day, bought a bunch of things. We bought Kutnohara, which I actually think we bought day one. We did buy that day but one. But Boon Lake expansion, Cascadia expansion, some things that we bought didn't get to play. Because oh, we got some shirts. They're just expansions. We got, we got, I think, like four shirts total. Well, like not PAX merch shirts. Yeah, just, we got some we got shirts from shirts. a vendor, um, yeah. which one of them was really funny. It was literally our logo. It was a snake through a dice, yeah. and Sebastian wore it. And I th- I'm pretty sure Tom commented on it and was like, "There's Tom or TJ that was like, oh, you're wearing your brand.'" And I was <laughs> yeah. like, "Nope, this it's is actually some not. other brand completely um, made before we did our thing." I was like, "Whoops." And I got a calico shirt, mm-hmm. which is Very pretty cute. cool, super cute. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we got the Boon Lake expansion. Which, if you haven't played Boon Lake, we talked about it a little bit before. It is one of my favorite games. Um, it makes a pretty rare resource, the vase, way more valuable. Yeah. For because it's like rare to get, but not super useful in general. It introduces a whole separate board to use nice, vases on. Nice wiener over there. Thank you. Nice furry wiener. <laughs> I, I like her a lot. I to win one, girl. Um, Special guest winner, Fred. Since I was just sitting over here. Dwayne's going to be so jealous. Good. He didn't <laughs> join us. Um, well, we told him not to because this is all packs. Yeah, I was like, uh, aren't you uh, missing out? And he was upset. Uh, um, I forgot what we're talking about. We were just talking about expansions. Oh, yeah, the expansions that we bought. So the Cascadia one, that. Cascadia um, was one that I, so I actually only got it because we had a $5 off coupon from buying our shirts. Yes. Um, but I mean, it is something that we would get eventually. We just hadn't taken the time to go get it. But I am excited that we have it now. I didn't realize that it expanded Cascadia from four to six players. And we got a bunch of promos. Oh, yeah. We got Calico promos. Calico promos. Kutnora promo. We got a bunch of upgraded pieces. Uh, we got all stuff. that on the first day. Yeah. Some wingspan food. Um, a few, uh, just a pack of game trays. Arc Nova. Arc Nova, Appeal, and Gross. Kiosk 3D printed models. Um, sets of meeples. I got Dominant oh, Species wingspan Marine. Stuff. Custom wooden tokens. The Wingspan. Geek first up player bits. marker. Geek up bits. The pin. Oh yeah, that pin. A set of six random meeples to face. I'm going to be a pit bull for all of my games now that have one player thing. Um, Our friend Natalie that we were talking about is from Canada and Sebastian saw this one and he was like, Oh my God, that's the Canadian flag. Yep. So he needed to find six of them mm-hmm. to give to her. Yeah. And there's a lady looking for a raccoon who ended <laughs> up helping us um, find the Canadian ones. Okay, and fine. we tried to help her find her wow, raccoon. Win. No, don't let her over here. I'm glad you chose me. Evil doggo. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a great experience. We flew home. We got to see our babies. Yeah. We gave them great big huge kisses and they were asleep. Yeah. It was a great experience. It was really nice. For the vacation that it uh, you know, was. Allison, will you be attending yes. PAX next year? Of course. <laughs> okay. I will Every always year. be there. You're not letting me skip. Or you're not making me skip. Letting you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting you skip. Yeah. Great time. Can't wait to do it again. Can't wait to see my people again. Yeah. That's and probably the, my favorite part of PAX is just seeing all my people. Just meeting up with everybody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's a good place to end the show, I think. Yeah. That Makers. was our PAX experience. Thanks for listening. Um, we'll throw some pictures up. Yeah. 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 We'll or at the very up. least, you know, their usernames. Uh, yeah. Also on our Instagram where we're going to. We yeah, have a highlight. We have them highlighted. A highlight and, reel. And packs unplugged. Story reel. Highlights, whatever. But yeah, so that's the show. And like Kenzie said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to us. And if you're interested in some book content, then the <laughs> yeah. 
spicy book nook. Yeah, join our spicy book nook tomorrow. Another episode is coming out of our special series, but I don't want to plug too much. Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm Sibo. I'm Kenzie. Allison. See you next Have time. Have a good night. Good. <laughs>